Right, onward we go. So we have a few side quests we need to take care of real quick. So I think we should first before we continue the story. Knock these out of the way real quick. People take notice of wealthy men. Shouldn't be too hard to track down Karen's collector. The St. Drake's fang is gone. The whole mother crystal gone. What are we gonna do? Calm yourself. Welcome. If you're hoping for a bed, I'm afraid you'll have to look elsewhere. One of our wealthy patrons has purchased the use of every room I've been to. The riffraff, huh? My reputation will be ruined! 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 Calm yourself, Lord Ignac, I beg of you, before you do yourself a mischief. Pardon the intrusion, but... Out! Get out! I paid for these rooms so I wouldn't be disturbed. Leave me be! Please, allow me to apologize. His lordship is going through a difficult time. And he's never been fond of guests arriving unannounced. Sure. Redeem! Get rid of the filthy oaf this instant! <laughs> Very good, Lord Ignac. Would you mind stepping outside for a moment? I'm sorry if I've caused you any trouble. That? No, no, no. That's just how his lordship is. Though the morning's events have left him somewhat fractious. His what events might those be? His luggage, you see. Mm. The thieves also made away with a considerable amount of coin. Coin the innkeeper will soon be keen to collect. I see. I don't suppose a certain blade was among the stolen items. A single-edged sword. It was purchased from a merchant friend of mine. Ah... You know Lady Karen? Yes, I'm afraid it was. Then I'll retrieve Lord Ignac's luggage. But I have one condition. You are but to state it. You are welcome to anything that is within my power to grant. I want an audience with Lord Ignac. A few minutes should be enough. Then I'll be on my way. A condition I would be a fool to refuse. Of course, you shall have your audience. I don't suppose you saw where the thieves went. I did not, no. Though some discreet inquiries made on his lordship's behalf mean that I know where you might find them. The bandit's bed. Well, that's nice. Every ill-gotten coin in Dalamal is said to pass through that disreputable corner of the Valcroy. And that's where I'm heading. I shall speak to Lord Ignat well, then. in your absence. And arrange for an audience upon your triumphant return. That will be very oh, yeah? good of you. Damn. Farewell. And best of luck. Cheese. Here's what we'll do instead, actually. Faster. Bum -ba -dum -bum -ba -dum -bum -bum.
got company. Come on, lads, let's tear the bastard's head off. Yeah, bitch. Ooh, that was badass. That was really cool. Good way to end that one. This must be Ignac's luggage. Nothing seems to be damaged. All right. Let's get it back to Delamel. Let's get it. I hear I have you to thank for the return of my effects. What shall I call you, my good man? Wyvern. Glad to make your acquaintance. A formidable name indeed. <laughs> well, Wyvern, I appear to be in your debt. Redeem here tells me you wished for an audience. Is that all? A few moments of your time should suffice, yes. You're a peculiar fellow, Wyvern. All right. Speak. A master wyvern was wondering if you could tell him about a certain single-edged sword you recently acquired. Oh, a true work of art, that one. Karen drove me hard on the price, but I would have sold her Radim here to get my hands on that. Damn. It was made in the outer aisles, far beyond the twins, and is used exclusively by the practitioners of a unique school of swordsmanship. They believe no combat should ever exceed a single strike and hone their blades to such perfection that none ever does. Each sword is made for that one perfect stroke and for that stroke only. They crack upon a second blow. There's a brutal sort of beauty to it, really. But how do they hone such an edge? <laughs> Fine question. Why, they use a whetstone, of course. Whetstones, rather. A whole array it's of range from the coarse to the fine. 10,000 licks with the sharpening stone, then 10,000 more. But it is the final stone which lends the blade its legendary sharpness. A mineral quite foreign to this great realm of ours. And that is the key. The secret ingredient. Why, when it occurs to me that my little lecture is hardly equal to services rendered, take this, together with my regards, the very stone of which I spoke. Ooh, far hello. Far among collectors than even the blade itself, and a far more fitting payment. Thank you. Pardon the intrusion, my lordship. However, it is long past time we prepared ourselves to depart. So it is. I am locked in bitter competition with a rival collector of curiosities. I am one step ahead of the unscrupulous scoundrel, but he is hard <laughs> at my heels. Nice. There are many other collectors out there. The unscrupulous scoundrel. Only one do I consider my nemesis. Lord oh! <laughs> Byron Rosfield. That's great. Perennial thorn in my side. That's fantastic. I can imagine. <laughs> Farewell, Wyvern. May our paths cross again. That. Redeem. We mustn't dawdle. Is fantastic. That is great.
I think his lordship is rather taken with you, Master Wyvern. Oh, too good. Thank you again for your assistance. Coming, my lordship. I'll be right there. Trust Uncle Byron to find such an interesting rival. <laughs> now, let's see what Blackthorn makes of this whetstone, shall we? Sorry for the wait, but hopefully you'll agree it was worth it. You learned something about our sword then? I did better than that. I... a whetstone? Yes. But not one you'll find anywhere in Valestia. Hopefully he can make some good shit with this now, man. No wonder I couldn't get a same finish on the grinding wheel. <laughs> One hit and all done, eh? Might not be so bad if all you ever fought were duels. <sighs> good luck on the battlefield. Your second opponent would be your last, no matter how good you were. Even so, is there some way it could be used to give the curse breakers an edge? I think so, yeah. With this whetstone and the right kind of steel. I could probably even make a twin of the play to rattle me. But there'd be no replacing this little rock once I worn it down to a sliver. I reckon we get a dozen swords from it, if that. Swords that the curse breakers wouldn't know how to wield, probably. And that would see them through a single fire piece. Nah. No point trying to copy that thing. Be about as much use as a wax anvil. But finishing our blades with a whetstone is fine. Now that's something to consider. And what's finer than fallen masonry, eh? Or more hard wearing for that matter? Just imagine it. Good Valisthean steel with an edge as sharp as any found in the Outer Isles. I won't make a copy, nah. I'll make something much better. I'm sure the Curse Breakers will be delighted. Just... Don't push yourself too hard. <laughs> don't you worry about me, Sunshine. I'll be working day and night since I was half your age. And I'll still be here when you're long gone. Hey. Thanks, Clive. I mean it. I owe you one, August 2. And it's good to know someone's looking out for me. You'll be happy to hear you said that. And I'll see that my debt to you's paid. First new blade I make's got your name on it. Oh, yeah. You come and find me when you've got the materials. All right. <laughs> I will. Well, let's see if we got them now. Right? I mean, we're already here. Let's find out. Scalibur. Hello. Oh, well, well. Let's see what we can do with that. Back, are ya? What'd you want? Oh, I just need Grimalkin hide. Grimalkin hide. Gelatinous mass. Anything else? Okay. Dun 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 expecting you 
I wasn't expecting to be here, but it seems we still owe you a considerable amount of coin for your help with our rebuilding efforts. And though I doubt it's what you were expecting, we were hoping you'd take this as payment. A star, Ruby? I can't accept this. It's worth at least twice what you owe me. More if you can find yourself the right buyer. Think of the difference as interest. Interest? If word got out I charged that much, no one would ever borrow from me again. <laughs> anyway, why are you the one here asking me about this? I'd have expected Otto. Bit much sending the Lord Marquis out to sell your debts, isn't it? The old goat working himself to death again. Something like that. Most days I think he's the only reason the hideaway is still standing. Same as always, eh? Back when the place was nothing but a twinkle in the eye of a recently retired Lord Commander, word is he was the first one Sid reached out to. Probably knew that without his strong arm and level head, the idea would never get off the ground. Sid may have been the face of the hideaway, but Otto's always been the backbone. And when Sid passed away, we were all worried that would be the end of it. That Otto would just give up. His death was hard on everyone. But it must have hit Otto hardest of all. But he didn't give up, did he? Quite the opposite, in fact. If I recall, he was the one who nominated you as Sid's replacement. And rallied the rest around you. I reckon what he saw in Sid, he saw in you too. And don't we all... Doesn't hurt that you're half as stubborn and twice as handsome, neither. That, and you keep good company. <laughs> I suppose I do. Anything catch your eye? There you go. trade. Is that everything? Take care out there, eh? Sure is. Lay Elder Antelope. So oh, there you go. Yeah, we'll find one bigger than that. You hungry, Toggle? There we go. 
enemy slain. Like we didn't just slay a bunch of fucking wild animals. That's crazy. No. Will it be enough, I wonder? <laughs> I say that answers my question, which means we owe the lawsmen our thanks. You're just a big puppy, aren't you? A very big puppy. <laughs> you do know you can take that with you, Toggle. Lady Karen will be relieved to hear you've got your appetite back. Come on, boy. I noticed you and Togel had gone off somewhere. Took him for a walk, did you? <laughs> you could say that. So, Molly's leftovers weren't good enough, eh? <laughs> I'll teach me for treating you like you're still a pup. All right, all right, no need to shout. Now we know what you're after, I can see about getting some in. Speaking of which, I brought one for later. Can I leave it with you? One, that's at five, bro. You can, I. I'm nice like that. In return, you can thank Tomes for me. The bloody know-it-all. I was just on my way to see him. to locate your quarry? We were indeed, Lawsman. You pointed us in exactly the right direction. <laughs> and Torgal's been a very happy hound ever since. Very good, very good. Lady Karen sends her thanks, by the way, for your part in solving the mystery. Ah. But that reminds me. After your last visit, I found myself pondering Torgal's talents. So. Do you recall our conversation concerning Lady Jill's role in Torgal's transformation? About how she somehow woke the power within him? Precisely that. A reasonable conclusion, I thought. But one which raised certain questions in my mind. You see, the Fenrir of legend served Shiva and Shiva alone. And while the powers attributed to him are certainly impressive, the records imply they are somewhat different in nature to those you describe Torgal as having used. What are you suggesting? That Torgal may be the beneficiary of more than one icon's power. Oh. Consider that in addition to Lady Jill, he has served as a loyal companion to you, your brother, and even the late Sid. In short, the icons hitherto near at hand, or should I say at poor, have been diverse and plenty. And that number has only grown as the realm's dominance have fallen to your sword. One can but speculate as to how all of this has affected Torgal. He has seemed more fierce of late. And if I'm not mistaken, he will grow fiercer still. We are fortunate indeed to be able to count him amongst our allies and not our adversaries. <laughs> oh, he's more than an ally. He's a friend. Nice. Quest complete. A boned pick. Alright. The other one is... Then we can finally go back to the area. The main area. That the glass gate flood has Do 
did you hear? The gates turned. I want to see you again. It's all right. What am I going to do without sweet water and oil of talk? My lady, I come bearing gifts. Gifts? Whatever is the occasion. Another star ruby. Oh my. Clive, you really have outdone yourself. Otto asked me to give it to you. To settle the hideaway's debt with the veil. And to compensate you for the time it took us to do so. Oh, you disappoint me, Clive. <laughs> I thought you might finally be warming to me. Oh, hello. Tell Otto he can keep his baubles. I tried to tell him as much the first time around. The man owes me nothing, nor does the hideaway. My contribution to the restoration effort was made freely and willingly. It was the least I could do. You once told me Sid did you a kindness. I'd like to do the same. Please, accept it. For my sake. And for Otto's. For all of us. For all you've done. <sighs> It is rather fetching, isn't it? Very well. <laughs> Otto is lucky to have you, Clive. I doubt anything could ever replace his son. But you and the others at the hideaway are the closest thing he has to family. Otto had a son. Long ago. Yes. Sid told me Otto lost him when he was just a boy, and blamed himself for not being able to stop it. I don't know how it happened, whether there was anything he could have done, but it was clear that it weighed heavily on him. I didn't know. How could you have? I doubt anyone did. Besides Sid, I've never met a man more keen to bear his sorrows in stoic silence. An ill habit, given that both have always been surrounded by friends desperate to help them. <laughs> I'm beginning to see that. Go will want to know the stones were delivered. If he's still with us. Goat. Still alive, I see. So Lady Karen accepted the ruby. Ah, oh, about that. Uh, I tried my best, but she was just too stubborn to take it. She threw it right back in my face, in fact, and told me I could stick my stupid stone where the sun don't shine. Karen refused payment. I hope it wasn't something I said. I'm sure you were as tactful as ever. Let me see what I can do. Oh, wonderful. I hope you have better luck than I did. Mid told me she was building a ship. I don't know where Sid gets the energy. Lady Karen. Go tells me you weren't happy with our offer. Would you prefer the debt was repaid in coin? What debt? I don't recall lending any of you lot me hard-earned gill. I may have tossed a talent or two in the Hardaway's coffers, but those were donations, and you can hardly call it charity if you go asking for it back. Of course not. But one good turn deserves another, and our circumstances have changed. Surely you wouldn't shun the gratitude of a pauper who happened to have become a prince. Oh, so you're a prince now, are you? <laughs> Fine. But I'm selling it and taking what I'm owed, then you're getting the rest whether you like it or not. Where'd you even get this? A decent trader might nab a thousand talents for a star ruby. A canny one, meanwhile, might claim it were nicked from the belt of Sid the Outlaw himself and ask twice as much. <laughs> might be I already yes. have a buyer in mind. 
Can't be. You even know her. The Hello there. Continental maid whose beauty is only eclipsed by a guile in commerce. You won't mind, would you? Not at all. Just be sure to tell her that it's always a pleasure doing business. Yeah, we're finished. We're doing some side quests before we hop into the main stuff. I hear you ended up delivering all three stones. Thanks to this lump. I sometimes wonder what I pay you for. Speaking of which, I, uh, I, I, I still haven't been paid last month's wages. Oh, so you remember what's owed to you then? Get your ass beyond that disc of yours and don't get up before those ledges are square. Right away. No, not yet, Zara. I don't I'm not sure where it is yet. I haven't found that area. Plenty of times. It was the only goblets it ever used. Either out of habit, or because the filthy soul couldn't be bothered to find a clean one. I knew so little about him. I'm most people. Martha and the dame both seem to have fond memories of him. Huh. I bet they do. How long did you know Sid before he... Before he died. Twenty summers, give or take. Back in the day, I was a purser on a trade ship. Which is where I met him. He bought passage to... I oh, forget where. But having nothing better to do on the long nights, we set up drinking island rum till the morning bell dragged me back to my duties. Quit my post not long after that. On account of making a fine maiden's belly fat. But me and Sid stayed close. Promising we'd one day sail the seas again. That was... before fate stepped in. And said she was having none of it. The magic woke inside my son soon after his first name day. And there was no hiding his neck. Couldn't you and your family have? My family were the ones who summoned the constable. Wanted the monster taken away. I couldn't turn my back on him. Forget what I felt. And I couldn't for the life of me understand how they could. It's messed up. Sid was of the same mind as me. It was him who stood beside me when all I wanted was to tear the whole world down. Him who cried for me when I had no tears left of my own. Him who swore he'd do everything he could to stop it from happening again. And he was true to his word, too. Left the Royal Army once and for all. His ranks, his ribbons, gone. Just like that. Threw away everything he had. All to right a wrong that no one else had the courage to face. I knew then I'd follow that man to the ends of the earth. Two homies, man. too clever for his own good was Sid. Saw the world for what it really was while the rest of us were content to go along with the lie we were shown. And it can't have been easy bearing that burden alone. But he didn't let it stop him. He never lost faith in what he believed was right. And that gave us faith in him. Faith he'd steer us true. So I swore to myself that I'd always be right behind him, ready to catch the stubborn sod if ever he should fall. But I couldn't even do that. Ignore me, just the ramblings of a tired old man. 
Leave that lot. I'll tidy it up in a bit. This. Hello, what have we here? This is Sid's handwriting. Dear Otto, I may be drunk, but I wanted you to know this place would be fucked without you. Love you, you old grumpy old sod. This note. Hmm? What about it? Sid was right. Without you, we all be lost. He should have bloody well said so then. Just once. Before he went. <sighs> but then, why would he? Him, or anyone? I'd only have told him to piss off. You're wrong, though. Both of you. It was never just me keeping the hideaway afloat. It was all of us. I just shoved people in the right direction. I barely seem to be able to do that anymore. Would you rather go at the helm? <laughs> well, maybe I've got a few more years left in me. <laughs> I'm going to hold you to that, Otto. Before you go... Sid would have wanted you to have this. But that's... This will do me just fine. Thanks for the ray of sunshine. I'll see if I can't pay you back. Already have. There you go. That was nice. Sid's Goblin. Told me she was building a ship. I don't know where Sid gets the energy. He cracked the crystal too. Are you joking? Here we go. You, Clive. I was going to leave. There's more alliance. already headed off that way anyway.
This used to be a trade route for merchants crossing the scars. Till the Republic laid a new road wide enough to let wagons pass, and all official traffic moved there. Leaving this one for those living outside the law. Indeed. I doubt we'll be the only outlaws on the trail today. It's pretty cool, look at that. That's not. Yeah, Titan abilities are pretty great. So They're all pretty think? good, though. I like all of them. Really? It's as bad as that. Oh, why? There's trouble up ahead. And too much of it for us to handle. I take it there's danger on the road. Oh, what about this fearsome looking fellow? You think he'd be equal to the task? Oh, no doubt. Assuming he's willing to hear us out. Well met, friend. My brother and I have been tasked with finding a merchant's missing cart. You seen it by any chance? How does a merchant misplace his cart? Oh, the man's a coward. When he thought goblins might come a snarling, he ran, leaving his livelihood abandoned in the pass. He sent the two of us to fetch it, but it's gone. Now, I'm not much of a thinker. I know the work of thieves when I see it. My brother's right on all accounts. And by my estimation, the bastards are lying in wait just down the road. We may have seen our share of action, true, but we've not got the skill in arms to boldly brave an ambush. You, however, have the look of a man who needn't fear a band of backwater ruffians. What do you say? Will you help us out? Chances are, they'll come for you either way. But if you promise to lend us a hand, at least you'll pocket a reward for your troubles. Well, if I'm going to have to deal with them anyway... You've clearly got a fine head on those broad shoulders. Oh, s yeah, lucky you came along. Now, hoping to make a heavy purse in Boklad, our merchant friend loaded his cart with as much as it would carry. Reckon he won't be forking over the rest of our fee if we don't find those goods. So, while you're seeing to those bandits, you keep your eyes open. All right. Just don't expect me to drag the cart out of there myself. No, no. Uh, you can leave the cart to us. You just put an end to those bandits and point us in the right direction. You do that, we'll take care of the rest. All right, well, let's go. Let's go. I'm not sure I trust those two. But if there are bandits lying in wait, I should probably take care of them. Yeah. <laughs> Look lively, you lot. No. We've got guests. These must be our bandits. And if you do <laughs>
Bye. Just beat the hell out of this dude. That's crazy. Take him down. That's them dealt with. No. Where's that card? Getting all of this out of here will be a nightmare. Seems we found ourselves the right man for the job, wouldn't you say? Found the cart and didn't leave a single bastard breathing. Our merchant friend will be delighted. And how exactly will he be getting his goods out of here? You leave that to us. After all, it'd be wrong to make such a fine warrior haul cabbages to market. You've done your part. And that's all you need to worry about. Here. Okay. It's been a pleasure. Now piss off. There's no need to be so rude, brother. What if we want his help again next time? <laughs> okay. Off we go. I see the Dalnex lag behind Rosaria when it comes to bridge building. The fallen ruin should hold at least. The path continues on the other side. In here, okay. just making sure there's nothing on the other side of the bridge. Final sin, the Dalmecan Republic. That's so. This is a Mechas. That's something. A land of the gods. It's even more impressive than I imagined. I remember being captivated by the story as a child. Long, long ago, man was overcome by avarice and challenged the gods in a bid to win their power. A final battle took place here. These falls. Or so the legend goes. If anyone ever manages to plumb those depths, perhaps we'll learn if there's any truth to the tale. That the gods emerged victorious and punished man for his defiance by visiting upon him two curses. Dominance in Paris. To tell the truth, I always thought it strange that the Dominant and their icons were deemed a curse. Back home, the Dominant inherited the throne. They were admired and exalted, not spurned. Whenever I got to that part of the story, I always assumed there must be something I'd misunderstood. You had a lot of storybooks, didn't you? In your room, I mean. When we were young. 
The old legends were always my favorites. Epic battles between gods and men. Father encouraged me to read as much as I could. He thought it good for my education. You really were a boy like any other, weren't you? <laughs> Just look at this place. It's enough to make you believe the legends are true. I know. We're not far from Boklad. The road will be busier up ahead. And we'll have to keep our wits about us. <laughs> Something wrong? Nothing. It's nothing. All right. Meanwhile, seat of the Imperial Court. Audience Chamber, Imperial Palace. I see the reports are true, Father. You have surrendered the throne to Olivier. I have. Emperor Olivier shall rebuild the Holy Empire of Sambrek. How is he to rule an empire? He is but a boy. I shall advise him until he comes of age. Father, please. Or for as long as I am able. The empire we seek to build needs young blood to rule. And I can think of none better suited to the task. There is other news, Dion. Hugo Kupka is dead, and Drake's Fang destroyed. The pillars of the Republic have fallen. Ere long, the Imperial banner shall fly over every city in storm. And then, Valisthea. All shall bow before their Emperor. Father, these are the words of a tyrant. They are the words of a god. The Emperor whom I gladly serve. Great Grieka made flesh. It's tripping. Return to your camp, Dion, and ready your forces. It is time to show the world the true power of Sandbreak. Father. <laughs> I find you much changed. Is this truly the path you wish to tread? Or are these the ambitions of another? Of Ultima, perhaps? What nonsense is this? I speak my mind, and my mind only. Though I do owe Annabella thanks for reminding me of certain truths. Regarding the nature of nations, of rulers, and of the divine. You will trust the words of this traitress. She betrayed her country. She slew her husband. You have ever been an invaluable servant to Sambrek, Prince Dion. I trust you will continue to serve your emperor in the wars to come. The canker! Silence! Insolent wretch! 
You will bend the knee. All else is heresy. Sire, forgive me. This audience is over. Come, your radiance. The Rowena Syndicate awaits your pleasure. Oh, not another meeting with silly old men. They're so boring. I'm hungry, Father. Can't we have luncheon instead? Does it pain you that you will not inherit your father's throne? I have suffered worse. <laughs> Count your blessings, Dion. For a baseborn child to be chosen by Bahamut is miracle enough. You have risen high on his wings, but you shall rise no higher, lest your impure blood stain the throne. What do you know of my blood? I hate this lady. just gets worse and worse and worse and worse every time the book lab markets are to the north we just need to hug the coast Infiltrating the Dominion won't be easy with the Imperials on high alert. No. His Radiance has lost one capital already. We can be sure Sylvester will do everything in his power to hold on to Twinside. His troops are well trained and increasingly lack of hope. Okay, that was overkill. It's dead already. Never mind. Never mind. Let's go. Before we go that way, I just want to go see what's over this way. And we'll head back there. There's a lot of people coming from over here, so I'm just curious like what what is over. They've closed the road to Randalar. If the siege breaks, they'll need more than this to stop the Imperial Legions marching on the capital. Okay, well, can't go that way. Good girl. Faster. Forward we go. No 
much further to block them now. Refugees. And they're all making for the crystalline dominion. Because they don't know how to live without the crystal's blessing. Straight home now. This is where we're supposed to meet Goots, isn't it? That's right. He said he'd wait for us here after replenishing his supplies. I dare say he'll have finished by now. Oh, hope so. What are you looking for? A fine choice. Then I saw her. Huh? I wish to engage the Crimson Caravan. Do that. Hey, hey, hey. Take that goblin coin. Let's go. How quickly these uh these, these I believe stories What's that? spread, huh? Ah, a soldier like yourself could do with hearing this. If ever you see a couple of brothers up in Leighton's cleft, you just pass them right on by. And why is that? Because they're duplicitous bastards who make cutthroats and footpads look like upstanding citizens by comparison. What they do is befriend a passing merchant, someone new to the area, and steer them straight into the arms of bandits. The merchant dead and his murderers busy bickering over the poor bastard's wares, the brothers set to sweet talking some other unsuspecting fool, a warrior. Now, the brave soul charges into the footpad's den thinking he's doing the realm a favor, and when he's done, the brothers sweep in and loot the bandits and dead merchant both. Yeah, there's a lazy sort of cunning to it, I suppose. You'd think they'd run out of bandits eventually. So close to Bokhlad? Not bloody likely. <laughs> I suppose you're right. Anyway, if you run into them, you steer clear. Or better yet, give them a damn good hiding. <sighs> really wish I had. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> okay, well. Figures. Guys, we're pretty sus. Out of my sight, wretch. Peaches and pears. All right, Goots, where you at? Wonders from across the water. Come one, come all. Feast your eyes. Good sir, can I interest you in? Oh damn! How much for a measly crust of bread? 
You won't find any cheaper. Not nowadays. But you're more than welcome to look. The Empire's unlawful and illegitimate occupation of the Crystalline Dominion is still in effect. Only those whose business in Twinside has been officially approved by the Republican Army will be permitted to cross the border. All who seek entry are to form a line and ready their documents for inspection. It looks like we aren't the only ones who are eager to leave. And they're checking everyone. Can't you make an exception? Not for the likes of you. We won't get through without that pass. Let's go and find Goot, shall we? Yeah, where is Goots? He must be around here somewhere. Tight fisties. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. Come taste my peaches! They're sweet as nectar! I'll take the last. Oh, well, well, there he is. Oh, Goot. There you are. Clive! I'm so sorry. Don't tell Nan, will you? Slow down, Goot. Just tell us what happened. It's me trader's pass. It's gone. We cannot ride the caravan without it. We won't even be able to get through the flipping checkpoint. Do you remember when you last saw it? It was in me pocket a minute ago. Then a burn bumped into me and... Here. You don't think that they might have nicked it, do you? It wouldn't surprise me. A busy market like this is prime territory for pickpockets. So, to get the pass back, we need to find this child. Where would we even start? <gasps> I, I know where! I, I've got a pal in Bocklad who might be able to help us. No one knows more about what goes on round here than she does. Where do we find her? She's the owner of the Crimson Caravans, up that way. Sign's got a red chocobo on it. No time like the present. You two go on ahead. I'm going to check the rest of my stuff, make sure no one else is missing. All right. We'll meet you there. Let's keep an eye out for this red chocobo, then. And the other on our purses. Next to the checkpoint. Oh, well, well. To hire a coach? It's ten million for a two-birder to the Crystalline Dominion. Take it or leave it. Oh, we're not here for that. Then I bid you good day. Oh, wait! Just don't go, El. He's my mate. As I live and breathe. Goots, what are you doing back in Bocklad? <laughs> I gather Lady Karen didn't send you. So what trouble have you got yourself into this time? Uh, it's me trader's pass. It, it got stolen. By a little Ben. Of all the... You're the size of a morble. <laughs> Honestly. Damn. Oh. Goots told us that you know the markets well. <sighs> Might you have an idea which little band could have done this? We don't intend to punish them. We just need our pass back. Then we can be on our way. I see. So neither of you has a trader's pass either. <laughs> Not that anyone would take you for traders, but I suppose that's why you came to me, correct? Now, I can't say for sure who took your pass, but I suspect I know why they did it. Let me explain. Okay.
Ever since the Fist marched on the Dominion, the Republic has been clamping down on any commerce that might aid the Empire more than it does us. Which means traders' passes have gone from being merely a way of easing one's progress to being essential if one wishes to cross the border at all. And with demand outstripping supply, they've become a precious commodity, leading some to seek to acquire them by less than legitimate means. So the children are stealing passes to sell on the black market? Yes, and no. Passes are inscribed with the names of their owners, and yet none of the victims' names have appeared on the register of those passing through the checkpoint. Which means? That someone is doctoring the stolen passes. The same someone who is encouraging the children to steal them. And the same someone who has Goots's pass, no doubt. Whoever they are, they're ruining the livelihoods of honest merchants. Which is why we've decided to take a stand. Will you stand with us? You want to get your pass back? And we want to ensure that no more are stolen. Catch whoever's behind it all, and two birds shall be slain with a single stone. Is there any other way of getting to the Crystalline Dominion goods? They won't let you zin if you're not with the caravan. It's that, uh... I don't know, try swimming across the strip. But, but the guards will definitely spot you if you try and do that. Like, uh, we don't want to get spotted, right? <laughs> King Goots, so either man. we find the people who took the pass, or give up all hope of entering the Dominion. All right. We'll help. Damn it, Goots, why'd you get snatched, bro? Exactly. Um, yeah. But I don't know your name. Eloise at your service. Clive. A pleasure doing business with you, Clive. Crimson Collar. The proprietor of the furniture makers by the coach stop is spearheading the search. Wear that, and he will. Yeah, I saw it on him. Steam as well, Mojin. I suggest that you speak with him first. The furniture makers. Understood. To catch a thief. Out of my sight, wretch. Come on, come on. Yeah, right. You need to have a command for that or something. Counter, I mean. Are you the furniture maker? Looking for something in particular? Ah, and a wee's collared you too, eh? Then I expect you want to know more. She told me you were leading the hunt for the pickpockets. What have you learned? For one, that they're targeting the traders carrying the biggest packs. Harder to watch your back, see? And less chance of the mark giving chase if they're spotted. Not that they'd be sense. to catch them. Those imps know every inch of this warren like the backs of their hands. Their eyes must have lit up when they saw Goots. The fishmonger round by the gate's been trying to track down the children involved. You should go and have a word with her. Thank you. We will. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. You should come with me to the Dominion. Fish for sale! Fresh sorted and smoked! Can I interest you? Ah, sorry. Message from Eloise, is it? She's asked me to help her. To help you find the pickpockets. Is that so? Suppose I better tell you what I know then. For one, this isn't a family operation. All the traders say the children who stole their passes were dirty, dressed in rags. Street urchins, by the sound of it. We get a lot around here. Orphans from the wars. A few, perhaps. You saw the refugees gathered by the entranceway? Yeah. They're all looking for a new start in the Dominion and beyond. Some of them take it as an opportunity to rid themselves of unwanted baggage. The shame of it. 
whoever's behind this would have to have made themselves known to the children at some point. And so should we. You should start with the children around here, then. I doubt they're the ones involved, but they might have heard something. It's worth a try. All right, then. Questioning children. How hard can that be? Ah, you yeah, whippersnappers, where are you at? Do you have a moment? What do you want? What I want is to know who's asking children like you to pick pockets. I don't know. Nobody's asked me. What's picking pockets? Do you get paid for it? No, uh, you get in trouble for it. So if they come calling, you know what to tell them. The caravan stops next to the checkpoint. Joke of snake speed. Excuse me. What do you want? I, I, I don't have any money. It's all right. We're not going to hurt you. We just want to talk. What, what, what about? We've heard that some very bad people are making children like you steal from travelers. We need to know who's behind it so we can stop them. I don't know much about it, really. But my friend, Honza, he, he said he got a job doing something dangerous. Sounds promising. We need to find him and ask. Do you know where your friend might be? He's usually by the tents outside town. Thank you. You've been very helpful. Come on, come on! All right, Hansa. Where you at? Let me carry your goods. She must have been the refugee camp. Let's hope he's still nearby. Daddy! I'm hungry. <laughs> that big fat donkey was easy pickings. He wouldn't have noticed if we robbed his boots off him. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah. Wish we hadn't handed over the pass, though. Could use one of those things to get out of this dump. Chance would be a fine thing. The moment they found out, they'd string us up by our guts. Would they now? Perhaps you'd like to introduce us to these charming characters. Shit! We're in trouble now! What do we do? You two get caught if you want. I'm off. Hansa, where are you going? So that was Hansa, eh? Jill, you watch these two. I'm going after him. All right. I need to find him before his employers do. Daddy, I'm hungry. Did you see a boy run past? He stole something from a friend of mine. There was a boy ran back there towards the chocobo pen, but... Thank you. For what? choice I'm looking for the people who are making you steal for them who are they call themselves the car stones they said they'd give me good gill if I did what they told me I knew they were bad but it doesn't come for free didn't come at all half the time before I started buzzing for them you know if I didn't do it they just pick on someone else someone they could push around easier Hansa. You found him, then? Jill? Where are the other two? Eloise is watching over them. She sent Goots and I to look for you. You're... him! 
I haven't got your pass anymore, if that's what you're after. I gave it to the cast stones. Whatever you do to me, I can't get it back. Not that I go against them anyway. If it weren't for their gill, me and my mates would have starved. Cowards! You will not force another child to do your bidding. Wait, we're not... <laughs> Don't hurt him! You fool! You're making a mistake. We're on the same side. Like hell we are. That brooch. Where did you get it? Uh, Master Theo. <laughs> Huh? Goots. What are you doing with these people? Unless you're the ones my sister was talking about. Your sister? Is that Eloise's brother? I take it. Eloise didn't tell us she had a brother. There you go. And why would she? I'm just her back and a blade. Theodore, at your service. Sorry about before. Theodore, what do you know of the cast stones? Vultures who have made Balklad their hunting ground. They prey on the desperate, stealing from those with Gil and bullying those without it into joining their flock. I'd been looking into their activities in hope of sparing the refugees any further hardship. But it seems they've already stooped even lower than I'd feared. Hans is a good lad. Don't blame him for what they've made him do. If he and his friends hadn't agreed to work for the stones, some other poor souls would have. On pain of death, most likely. Clive, was it? And my sisters asked you to help put an end to the pickpocketing. Then we all want the same thing. Quest complete to catch a thief. Oh. So, what's the plan? What else? We find the cast stones and we crush them. You get your traders passed back and I make Boglad a safe place again. All right then. All right then. Onward, let's go. Honza, where are they camped? Don't worry. They'll never know you told us. Couldn't if I wanted to. They always come to town to collect the passes. Meet us outside the gate. I tried following them once, but they spotted me halfway down the trail. Said they'd string me up. We'll try it this time. Which way were they going? Back down the road towards Leighton's Cleft. To Leighton's Cleft, then? Blood from the stones. Laney's Cleft is to the south past the camp. It looked like they were about to turn into Laney's Cleft before they spotted me. You can do it, Clive! No, you better not have scared any of my birds. That's that, then. Daddy! Wow, okay. Oh, we found him, though. That's the one who's been sticking his nose in our business. You should have minded your own. Doubt these were the ringleaders. 
this. But at least we know we're on the right track. There is more. God damn it, there's no point in getting on the goddamn chocobo, man. Ha. Not a bad haul today, eh? Aye. Some of our new recruits are natural born ne'er do wells. Especially the little ones. That Hans has got nimble fingers, all right. <laughs> It'll be a shame when they chop them off. But till then, let's make the most of it. Scum. The leaders of the cast stones, I take it. They don't deserve any mercy, Clive. I wasn't planning on showing them any. We're ready when you are, Theodore. Oh, I'm ready. Fuck! It's that guard from Bokman! Kill him! Kill them all! Hell yeah, boy. Get the hell out of here. Down you go. <laughs> and they say crime doesn't pay. Gold chains, rings, purses. Red Dead Ocelot, thank you for the follow. Have the names been changed? Not yet. I recognize some of them. No doubt Gootz's is somewhere among them. Now I just need to sort through it all and return everything to the people it was taken from. We should go and give Eloise the good news. Can we leave things here in your hands, Theodore? Of course. Oh, and uh, be sure to tell her of the part I played, won't you? We'll be glad to. Let's go over there right now. Ah, Clive. How goes the hunt? My brother isn't getting in your way, I trust? Quite the opposite. One long story later. So it was the cast stones who were behind it all. Theo told me he'd been on their trail. And their demise solves three problems at a stroke. That of the pickpockets, the bandits pulling their strings, and the passes they were stealing. I only hope yours is among the items you recovered. Only time and Theo's return will tell. 
Speaking of whom, welcome home, dear brother. You are too kind, Eloise. Here, Clive. Goods is past. Ask him to keep a closer eye on it from now on, would you? I will. Thank you. El, I've asked our boys to carry the rest of the goods back. Can I count on your help in sorting through it all? Of course. I'll make some space in the storeroom. I expect you'll soon be on your way, then. But it wouldn't do to leave without introducing yourself properly. Would it now? Sid. Don't look so shocked. We're on the same side. <laughs> I don't understand. As you now know all too well, we at the Crimson Caravans are always happy to help those in need. For a small fee, we will move anything that needs moving. Be that goods to market, or bearers away from it. I was the first my sister helped escape. If it wasn't for her, I'd have been branded as a boy. I had no idea. It just so happens that we are seeking to expand our operation. And who better to join forces with than the leader in the field? Wouldn't you agree, Theo? I would. It seems our purpose is the same in more ways than one. So what would you say to working together again? It would be our pleasure. And our honor. The honor is ours. Here, Clive. This is for you. Crimson Compass. Yeah. What is it? El has friends in high places while I have associates in uh, lower ones. That mark is proof that you're a friend to us both. Color and compass, nice. I shall bear it with pride. Well, all that remains is to wish you a safe onward journey. Goots's path should secure you a place on the caravan, but if you encounter any difficulties, we would be delighted to provide you with a coach of our own. For a discounted price, of course. Say, nine million? We'll try the caravan. Blood from the stones. Right then. Let's get this back to goods. And then it's on to the Dominion. Is something the matter? Why, I am what you see. It can be a risky business. This being a border town, or at least, it did. Don't worry about Hansa and the others. Safe travels. Anything I can do for you? And I wouldn't have it any other way. All the better. <sighs> Fools, the lot of them. Criminals and cowards. So thank you. All right. May luck go with you. Let's go find goods. Oh shit. Fuck. Never mind. Pardon me, but would you have that well-notched steel and impressive physique? I have need of a sword for hire. It's not that we're good to go. Well worth the coin. Might you be convinced to offer me the use of those formidable arms? The hell? How exactly do you intend to use them? There's some well, down there, buddy. Being something of a scholar of Zemeckian history, I wish to investigate the ruins near the city. And I require a rugged companion. Lest I find myself waylaid by ne'er do wells or the beasts said to roam the area. Should you accept, you will not only earn yourself material wealth, 
but partake of the true treasure that awaits us there. The rich and storied history of Zemeckis. Well, were you ever party to a finer proposition? My arms are yours. Wonderful. Then come. We must away. But where are we going? Along the old Zemeckis road. And from there, onward to discovery. Quickly. There is not a moment to lose. Shut up and let's go. Wait. <sighs> Good luck with your ne'er-do-wells. Onward to discovery. I better make sure he doesn't get himself killed. Before we leave, I should go accept these other two quests as well. Uh, if I knew a I would just need to see if I give him the word. I want to know right away. Bad news. Good, actually. Something worth celebrating for a change. Only trouble is, the serving girl's still new to the job, so I can't leave her while I go and invite those I'd like to celebrate with. What exactly are you celebrating, if you don't mind me asking? I've come by a particularly fine bottle of red. A Gotan 66, no less. Gotan Rouge is the only good thing to have ever come out of the Empire. And most wouldn't part with a 66 if you held a knife to their throats. So I've heard. Oh. So you know of it, then? Clearly, you're a gentleman of taste. Clearly. A gentleman who might sympathize with my predicament, perhaps? Would you pass the good news to a few friends of mine? I'll give you a little something for your time, of course. Sounds simple enough. So you'll do it. Marvelous. Thank you. You won't need to go far. All three of them should be right here in the market. Oh, okay. Good. So Aldrich, the porter, Milan, the butcher, and Bollock, a guard over at the north gate. Three of the finest fellows in Boklad, if you ask me. Tell them to come to the tavern when they finish for the day. Stop by again when you let them know, and I'll give you your little something. <laughs> I'll be right back. Alright. That sounds, uh, simple enough, like you said. So let's take care of that room. to find Aldrich, the porter. I don't suppose that's you, is it? That's me right enough. You need something delivered. The innkeeper sent me. He said there's a cup of Gotan 66 with your name on it when you're done for the day. <laughs> a 66? Look at me. If he's just got hold of it now, it must have been in the crates he had me carry down from San Breck. From the Empire to Boklad. He must be a braver man than most. That's a treacherous route to the best of times. Uh, such is the porter's lot. There's not a patch of storm these feet haven't traipsed across. They'd Soraflam one day, then off to Canva the next. The farther you're willing to go, the fatter the purse. Which is why there's no shortage of competition for some of the longer routes. I'd say I've done enough for today to earn myself a cup of something tasty. Thanks for letting me know. Out of my sight, wretch! Come on! Come on! The caravan stops next to the checkpoint. Are you Milan, the butcher? That's me. What can I do for you? The innkeeper's just had a special delivery. He thought you might like to join him for a cup of wine after you pack up for the day. <laughs> he knows me only too well. And I've got a ham here that will go handsomely with a nice drop. Wine and ham to spare. Barclad clearly isn't suffering, then. Comes with being the place everyone has to pass through to get to everywhere else. Those who travel the Crystal Road bring all manner of goods with them. We get meat from San Breck, herbs from Rosaria. Why, sometimes we even see curiosities from across the Narrow. My old man knew what he was about when he set up shop here all those years ago. 
Anyway, thanks for the good news. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll shut up shop early. Wouldn't want to keep our friend waiting. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. Tight-fisted spies. Let us through! I'm looking for Bolek. I was told he'd be guarding the gate. Well, you found him. You're not here to enlist, I take it? The innkeeper sent me. He's just taken delivery of a rare vintage. A Gotan 66. And he thought you might like a cup. I've never said no to a Gotan. I'm not about to start now. Thanks for letting me know. You must be a busy man. The market would be flooded with refugees if we weren't here to stem the flow. Oh, my heart goes out to them, all right, but we've got our orders. No papers, no passage. Plenty try to slip past us nonetheless. And every now and then, one of them's foolish enough to try and force their way through. Mm. And when they do, well, things can get nasty. You know what? That wine's sounding better by the moment. Well done. I wonder if the innkeeper might spare a cup of that wine. <laughs> He's like, I want to. He climbs like, I, you know what? That's everybody I talked to is making it sound real good. I want some of that too, you know. Let me, let me, let me get Thank in on some friends. of that. He'll be along soon. You got some of that for me right now. News. Thank you kindly. It's been a while since we all sat down together, and the way I see it, that wine is as much theirs as it is my own. How so? Well, I wouldn't be serving anything but slops without Aldrich to go and fetch the good stuff for me, and then there's Milan who always sends customers my way. And Bollock, an even-handed keeper of the peace, if ever there was one. Those three are the backbone of Boklad. Lose any one of them, and the market would soon fall apart. And without the market, I wouldn't have a single customer. <laughs> I'd say that's worth a bottle of 66, wouldn't you? <laughs> and more besides. Everyone needs a shoulder to lean on. Be they world-weary innkeepers or brooding swordsmen. Right. I'd better prepare for my guest's arrival. I hear you had me carrying a bottle of Gotan 66. If I'd have known, I would have sold the thing and lived like a lord. I'll settle for a cup, though, if you're in a sharing mood. A Gotan 60 bloody six. Just as well I had something special of my own set aside. A bottle between the four of us might not be enough to drown our sorrows, but it can't hurt. Here they are, the three pillars of Boklad. <laughs> Sit yourselves down, gentlemen. The woes of the world may be monstrous in many, but there's nothing like a few good friends to keep the misery at bay. Never a true word spoken. Oh, yeah. That's what's up. Look at that. Damn, they, they feasting good, bro. Look at that. Sheesh. Good eatings with friends, man. That's top tier right there. Quest complete. Error. Good. To kill the poor I owe these remarkable gentlemen more than a few poultry cups of wine. Even if it is the finest wine in all the Velisphere. Oh, there's nothing like a cup or five of good wine to wash away. Good cup or five. Water for hire. Best sir. I see you've been of some assistance to Eloise. Perhaps you can extend me the same kindness? Perhaps. Sure. What would I be doing? Finding someone. You see, I've been having trouble with thieves, and despite the many pains I've taken, I can't stop them from rummaging through my packs. I was griping about my lot to a friend of mine a few days back, and he offered to track the culprits down. Now, Joseph's a sellsword, and a good one at that. But he's been gone days, and I'm beginning to fear the worst. Any idea where his search for the thieves might have taken him? The old Zemeckis Road, perhaps? 
He doubted they would be fool enough to linger here in Boklad. Joseph's lived a hard life. Made him grey long before his time. I just pray he hasn't been killed over a few sacks of grain. I can't imagine there are too many grey-haired cell swords around. Hopefully someone will have seen him. information has a cell sword passed through here gray hair now you mention it there was a young man with salt in his mane sneaking around out there a while What's up, back. which way did he go i how am i supposed to know i got off down the road i expect now why don't you do the same and leave me be sure Pretty good. Ooh, oh man. Damn, that was awesome. Enemies slain. How's your day going, Val? Shimming today later or what? Busy? Dang. not good sir thanks to your timely intervention more importantly we have arrived all right today's a party huh the itty bitty's birthday right what'd you guys end up doing Ruins, having a party at home or you ended up going somewhere else or what a sight so common that man is oft blinded to its wonder colossal vessels dashed from the very heavens airships we call them with very little thought to what wonders such a word might describe. Oblige me if you would. Does anything strike you as peculiar about this particular specimen? Oh, getting here in less than an hour. Oh, so it hasn't started yet. Oh, okay. So yeah, you're going to be busy here pretty soon. I got gotcha. you. Whatever gouged the final sin from the rock cleaved clean through. I'm sure it'll be fun though. You see before you a tantalizing mystery, no doubt. But merely one of countless enigmas. In which Zemeckian history. What are you guys getting for food? Come, good sir. Our expedition continues. And we still have much to learn. Oh, man. Hell yeah. That sounds like my kind of birthday party right there. He's passionate. I'll give him that. That's what's up. That sounds pretty good, man. We don't want any trouble. Neither do I. I'm looking for someone. A grey-haired mercenary. Well, we haven't seen him. Yes, we have. We saw him climbing up the rocks. Those ones, over there. Maybe he found his thieves. Mum won't let me near them. She said there's goblins up there, and that they eat little boys for dinner. <laughs> Shush, now. You've said quite enough already. I only told him what you said. I'd listen to your mother if I were you. Alright, let's go take care of that. Oh yeah? That's cool. Unfortunately, I'm going to be busy again today, Val, so I don't know if I'll be available. I wanted to join you guys yesterday, but I didn't get free until you were done streaming already. I know, dude. I just, I'm just for like the next week, I'm going to be really busy here. So I just, I can't. 
I haven't been able to, man. I didn't play at all yesterday either. I did see the new stuff though, like the new incredible stuff. They look pretty cool actually, but did Joseph Steves really lug their stolen wares all the way out here? Ancient sword, ooh. Well, well, no. Oh yeah? Look at all these goblins. Yeah, the skins look pretty cool, but I think we found our I don't think I'll be getting any of them. They don't look happy to see me. Goblin friends. All right, Val. Have fun with the party and stuff. Catch you later. We'll go one. Happy birthday to the itty bitty. I'm sure you guys have a good time. Let's get this over with. Stop. Yeah. Don't kill him. He's just protecting his home. Joseph. Bye. The boy was right. I don't know you. Your porter friend sent me to find you. She was worried you might have got yourself killed. Have I been gone that long? It wasn't hard finding the thieves. The problem was knowing what to do with them when I did. I take it things are more complicated than they appear. I'd all but ruled out bandits before I even left the market. You know what that is? Because our thieves had no interest in gold or gems or anything they couldn't eat for that matter. Add to that the rumors of goblins in the area and the mystery practically solved itself. I soon found their cozy little homestead and all the missing food. I launched myself at them full of righteous fury, but their leader was the only one who moved to meet me. The others, they huddled around that food, ready to die protecting it. They stole because it was that or starvation. I've been there myself, back when times were hard. So you spared them? And earn their trust into the bargain by the look of it. These goblins aren't native to the area. They don't know how to survive such barren lands, so... <laughs> I've been teaching them. And wow. once they've learned to hunt and forage, they won't be fool enough to risk their necks in Boglad. I'm impressed. I didn't know goblins could be reasoned with. Do me a favor. Let the porter know I'm safe. I'll head back to the market once my work here is done. Oh, and... Don't mention the goblins. I don't want people coming here brandishing pitchforks. Not now this lot have sworn off thieving. Your secret's safe with me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Joseph's fine. He'll be back once he's tied up a few loose ends. <sighs> That's a weight off my shoulders. He certainly knows his business. He found your thieves all right. And I dare say they won't be coming back. A good man to have around, that Joseph. And if he says there'll be no more thieving, that's good enough for me. Thank you for putting my mind at ease. Here, for your troubles. Okay. Yeah. Even let live. All right, now that, to go take care of this other side quest. 
which I believe is the last one. For now. There are no crystals here. This guy just keeps running into stuff. That's <laughs> so good, man. So good. Oh, are you are you good? Why do you keep running into trouble? You're going to get yourself killed. Oh, that would not do. That would not do at all. Not when such majesty stretches out before us. Behold, the final sin in all its glory. As Moss tells us, a battle was fought here in ancient times. A battle of such ferocity. That it tore a great crater in the very land upon which it was waged. In reaching for their holy sanctum did man enrage the gods. And great was the vengeance that was rained down upon him. Apparently. Alas, the full truth of the matter is lost to time. Though I live in hope that I might see it discovered. But we must not dwell upon such things. There is more yet to see. More? Onward. History awaits. Where? He just shakes his head. Is he getting so ahead of himself? Now? What the hell is this? Well, so what else are we gonna have to fight right now? Got him. Still in one piece? It would seem so. Once more, I am in your debt. I mean... And once more, you impress me with your prowess. These were no ordinary foes, but ones we in the field call Echoes. Though Moss the Chronicler concurs with the legends in attributing the fall of Zemeckis to a wrath wrought upon mankind by the gods, 
he offers little in the way of explanation. Could the ruins we see before us here, in all their elaborate beauty, perhaps suggest an answer? Could the construction of such miraculous edifices have been considered an encroachment upon the province of the divine? Alas, all is mere speculation. But one day, perhaps, I will learn the truth. Not if you keep running headfirst into trouble. You are right, of course. And not only have you plucked me repeatedly from the jaws of death, you have proven yourself a willing audience to my ramblings. Glad to help, mm -hmm. but didn't you say you came here to investigate something? I fear I may have rather overstated the case on that front. In truth, a captive ear was all I really desired. You see, even my fellow scholars have grown somewhat weary of my musings of late. And so I came upon the idea of purchasing a companion. A captive audience, if you will. So you could run into trouble like a fool? I am afraid so. And now, my good man, it is high time we returned whence we came. Fine. Just don't go running off this time. Crazy ass dude. And so ends a delightful day. Here, your reward for humoring my selfish whims, plus a little extra for the trouble I have put you to. All right. Onward to discovery. All right, are we good now? Jeez. And pears. Let's go speak with Goose and get the hell out of here, man. You're too damn long. Come on, come on. Caravan stops. Easy pass. Slate your glass without a crystal. What I really want to be. Here you are, good. Try not to lose it again. Me pass. You found it. Oh, thank you so much. Nan would have killed me if I'd come back without it. I'll have to say thanks to Ellen, Theo, too. So should you, Hansa. You and your friends don't have to steal anymore. If anyone threatens you again, you know who to turn to. We do. And we already have. Ms. L's given us a job shifting the chocobo shit out of the stables. And it's hard work, and the pay isn't half what we got from the stones. But if we stick at it, we'll keep ourselves fit. <laughs> you stick at it, then. And Goots, I'm sorry for stealing your pass. That's all right. I've got it back now. And all's well that ends well. Eh? You said you're trained to be a blacksmith, right? Well, I'm going to be your first customer. I'm going to save up all my gear and get you to make me a massive sword. I'll do me best. <laughs> <laughs> Till then, eh? All right, Goots, let's get going. Place on the wagon. Remember, Goots, we're mercenaries. You hide us to protect you. M mercenaries. <laughs> and you remember the plan. You're to ride all the way to Twinside. Jill and I will go with you as far as the outskirts, then find our own way in. I'll buy that stuff I need. Right. And we'll scout out the Imperial's defenses. There's a square with a big bell tower right in the middle of town. If you get lost, or out goes wrong, we can meet up there. All right. Let's go.
seat of the Imperial Court. Reception Chamber, Imperial Palace. I'm quite certain your father has no knowledge of Ultima. I am. I have no difficulty believing a sinister force has come to exert an influence on Sandbrek. But be that as it may, it is yet to claim my father. For better or worse, his radiance speaks his own mind. Then the fiend works from the shadows. I confess, when first you told me of this fiend, I had my doubts. And more than a few at that. A beast that labors to plunge Valisthea into turmoil, all in pursuit of your brother. But that wound is proof enough that evil is afoot. Then I have your answer, your highness. You will join me in my fight. I cannot. Not yet. Your Highness, please. As you are aware, the Dalmechian army is at our gates. They have lost their mother crystal, and with it all hope of a negotiated withdrawal. It is but a matter of time before they invade. If Bahamut is not here to meet them, my people will be slaughtered. Though not by Hugo Kupka, thanks to Ultima's machinations. I know the fate of your people weighs heavy on your conscience, but if we do not put an end to Ultima's plans, they shall face a far darker fate. The chaos he would wreak would sweep all of Valisthea into the abyss. The lives of every man, woman, and child in the Twins are at stake. I believe what you say, Phoenix. I have duties of my own, and I must discharge them. Come what may. What do you know of my blood? I know that it is wholly unworthy of the highest offices of state, which rightly belong to those of purer breeding. Alas. Your bloodline runs through the Horiflam <clears throat> gutter, from a whore who weighed her child's worth in gill. Have you threatened my father? <laughs> of course not. I merely whispered in his ear. ...that his mongrel son is plotting a rebellion. What? Sylvester listens to the words of his astrologers. And they have ears too. You have been feeding them your lies! Should you remain loyal to Emperor Olivier... ...his radiance may yet crown your head with laurel... ...and not with tar. <gasps> Fork-tongued witch! In consideration of your long years of service to the Empire, I shall forgive this uncharacteristic rudeness. Now hurry and make ready, your Imperial Highness. Emperor Olivier expects much of you, Dion. Or should I say, of Bahamut. May your fire reduce his enemies to ash. Till all of Valisthea bows to its rightful ruler. That lady is so annoying. It is so annoying, bro. There is another darkness that has taken hold of Sandbrek. And until its grip is released, the flames of war shall spread ever wider, just as Ultima wishes. Forgive me. My family has caused you much grief. You are not her keeper, Phoenix. 
This is a matter for the Imperial household now, and as a member of that household, it falls to me to resolve it. At such time as that is done, what strength I have shall be yours. Thank you, Your Highness. Mm. Let us take to the skies together and bring a new dawn to Valisthea. I should like nothing more. Terence. My prince. Tell me true. Do you believe what I'm about to do is wrong? I... We Dragoons have but one leader, your highness. And we shall follow him unto the very end. Thank you. And this is my decree. For their crimes against the crown, the traitorous Annabella and her usurping son shall be put to death and the empire restored. Okay. Onward! One would never guess that these people stood on the brink of war. And they're afraid. They turn to drink to forget their fears. Anything you want to forget? The harbor is empty. And half the market stores too. The city may seem peaceful on the surface, but it's balanced on a knife edge. Were we to give it a nudge, it might be just the distraction we need to reach the Mother Crystal. I thought you might say that. We should send for Gav. We'll need someone to keep the fires we start from going out. And we can busy ourselves scheming until he gets here. I'll send a Stolas then. See What is it, boy? Barking at. Uh. Oh, damn. I don't know. Toggle. This way. I'm to go. Sora san, niem pa su, niem pa chu, niem fugu. Genki desu ka, Sora san. おはようございます。マスターソラさん。
元気ですありがとうございます